I liked the city when it was this dark and quiet. When cabs honked at you thinking you want a midnight ride and double charge. Where you get to experience some alarming form of peace for a while. The shopping centres once brightly lit became pale shadows in a twisted form where no one saw the hidden thoughts that were embedded in forlorn eyes. Your life flashed by you and rewound in slow motion. All the voices in your past returned to chide you for being part of them. The neon lights become dull, unadorned, like your senses dulled by self-pity, dulled by one of your choice realities. Reality in bold neon. You wonder why you do this every time. Slam your head with drink, curse at yourself in the mirror, and then proclaim that the world holds no inherent meaning for you. You spin around and round, visit the same music shops, the same stores, the same discos. You listen to the same kind of music, and you're not even listening. You let every pack of Marlboro intoxicate you to death, and yet you live on. And deep within, you know why. It's the sadness, isn't it? Everywhere is sadness. Sad. Sad. Do I have to repeat it? You breathe it every day and you labour at its birth because you never got used to being sad. You become saddened by your sadness because it's the only thing you know that's real. It's the only absolute you know. The streets say it, especially in the early morning. And so does the drone of the car speeding through the streets or the sombre gasping of the man slipping down the steps of the lounge telling everyone the amount he has lost. He's drunk on sadness and you wish you knew how to be sad and contented. But you've lost the rules long ago. Oh, sad. The world is sad and you are sad. You light another cigarette because you'll never know why and you want to drown in it because you never will. <laughs>